Fujifilm recipes. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite Fujifilm recipe that you're currently using. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt, this is Dwyer Creatives, and today is time for Two Minute Tuesday. So let's put two minutes on that clock. We're gonna be going over a Fujifilm recipe that I've been using and I've been really enjoying. And that's gonna be Portra 400 version two. Now what this film simulation recreates is those rich, slightly oversaturated colors that Portra is known for and also creates a nice dynamic range in the highlights and shadows. This past fall, I was going into one of my off-roading events. So far, I've seen uh, oak trees, a hickory tree, a couple of maples, uh, lop lolly pine, I think. Lop lolly pine is a new one for me. I had to look that up the other day. And of course, I had to bring the camera with me, and I brought my X100B with me. So let's go ahead and look at those shots here. Those are the photos with no edits, and they are slightly a little bit warmer than I usually take, but I still think they came out great. I'm gonna leave the recipe right here. Now, if you're looking to find your own recipes, I would suggest using the Fujifilm X Weekly, which you can find both for ISO and Android, and of course, you can always go online and straight through their webpage. Now, I'll go ahead and find the aesthetic that I like and recreate that, and then once I'm out taking photos, I'll go ahead and tweak that recipe to exactly what I'm looking for. I'm gonna try to keep this short. I think this is the first time I've actually got it under two minutes. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.